All right, tonight we are cooking hamachi kama, which is the collar of a hamachi. Uh, you can get salmon collar, tuna collar. This is hamachi kama uh, from Japan. Uh, I imagine most are from Japan. It comes frozen. I usually just keep a bunch of these in the freezer and defrost them slowly uh, when we want to eat them. Uh, here is just four packaged in there. You can see after defrosting, there's some juices in there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take them out of here, we're going to dry them off, then we're going to season them, and then we're going to bake them. And it's as simple as that. All right, so this is just to show you what one looks like. You'll see shiny skin on this side, meat mostly on this side, although there will this will crisp up when we cook it. You'll see these sort of fins coming off of it. You can clip those off if you don't want them on there for better presentation. Sometimes I leave them on there. They really are just for presentation. You don't want to eat them. There's no meat on there, but uh, it just reminds you that you are eating a collar. All right, so we've dried off all the hamachi kama. Here, come and look. This is what they look like, skin down right here, uh, just in my, I guess, baking pan. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna season them so they absorb a bunch of the seasonings um, before we actually start baking them. And then I'm gonna preheat the oven to 425 or 450 um, so that we're ready to put them in. All right, so I'm gonna put some seasonings on these so they absorb it before I put another glaze on top. I did end up actually cutting off some of the fins so they would all fit in there. I season this almost exactly how I season a steak. It's, you can season it with, with almost anything, to be totally honest, but this is just to give it some flavor before I can put another glaze on there. I'm using pink Himalayan salt, smoked paprika, garlic, pepper, basically dump it all on there, if you will, not like too heavy, uh, and let it sit for about uh, 15, 20 minutes. As you can see, I did it pretty liberally all around because we're gonna end up putting some butter and oils in there. Um, and we wanted to drop off and we can actually use that to, to baste the fish as we're cooking. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna make these are the glaze that goes on um, the hamachi kama right before I put it into the oven. The base is butter. We're gonna melt that down and we're gonna add some of the ingredients that I put in the, um, the, basically the seasoning I put on top the smoked paprika, the garlic powder, some pepper. And then I'm gonna add some honey, uh, like some nice sweetness that also will allow it to caramelize a little bit better. I love this white gold honey. It, it melts really easily and mixes really easily into the butter. I'm gonna use this soy sauce. It's a smoky soy sauce that adds a level of smokiness. Sometimes I use uh, liquid smoke as well. You can just use regular soy sauce. I think it adds a nice level of umami. Instead of putting salt in here, I'm gonna use a salt mixture. This one comes with just red chili, pepper, spinach, and sea salt. You can use whatever you want to, but it just creates a really nice glaze that'll help, um, help, I guess, caramelize it and make it even tastier outside I put it in the oven. All right, so I combined all those ingredients to make this glaze. You can see, actually, if you just zoom in or just look down here, it's a darkish color because of the soy sauce. It has a nice viscous. Oh my God, that alone is really, really good. Uh, come over here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna glaze these. Um, sometimes you use a, a brush to brush them on. Other times I just take a spoonful, but we're gonna use all of it because we want it to sit at the bottom there so that we can then use that to baste it. Um, and then we'll let that sit for a second before we just throw it in the oven uh, to cook. All right, one just sort of important thing if you cut, come over here and look. Here's my glaze. Uh, obviously I'm just like dousing the fish with it, but I'm also gonna paint the skin side because I want it to crisp up. The skin side's really, really dry right now. That's important. Uh, but I want it to crisp up essentially as I am cooking the fish. Okay. Awesome, so we got our hamachi kamas all glazed. 
Uh, oven's at 430, and we're just gonna pop them in there. About 15-ish uh, minutes for those guys. All right. All right, while that's baking, uh, I'm basically defrosting some wasabi. We buy our wasabi frozen. It's Kazami wasabi. It adds an insane amount of umami uh, to each bite for those who want that extra flavor. But this stuff is like, it's amazing. It's uh, so much better than the fake wasabi. And then I'm gonna slice up some lemon for those who wanna squeeze some lemon on their uh, piece of amachikama. Cool. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. All right, so we're about uh, 10 minutes in. We're gonna baste them real quick. Let's right, open. Let's see, we got our nice hamachi kama there, grilling, or bacon, I should say. Wow, that's awesome. Awesome, look at that, it's gonna be so delicious. Basting is a critical part. I am not the best baster. I want to up my basting skills. I want to be Thomas Keller level of basting, but that's going to be delicious. That is awesome. All right, I'm going to throw them back in there about five, six more minutes. Awesome. Hamachi kamas all ready? Let's take it out. Look at that. Beautiful. That's what we got right there. Flaking just the tiniest bit. The truth is I'm not gonna serve them right away. I'm gonna put them down right there. Uh, I'm gonna let them sit uh, and just sort of bake in their own hamachi kamenes uh, for about a minute. Uh, sometimes I do take a, a butane torch uh, and just sort of light them up to give them an extra crispiness. The truth is it's just not necessary. It doesn't add a lot of flavor. It just adds um, some, nice, some nice color for a presentation. But uh, we'll let them sit for a second, we'll serve them. Uh, if people want the wasabi, they can put it on there. If people want the lemon, they can put it on there. But either way, it's a great way to chopsticks. And um, when I serve them, I might take some of the juices in the bottom and just sort of dribble them on top. But uh, we'll give it a minute before I play them. All right, so here you see Rachel just digging in wasabi and lemon already on there. Wow. It flakes apart really, really nicely. There's obviously bones in there, but uh, it's pretty tender overall. Yep. Here, Janet has opted for no wasabi <laughs> or lemon. When I serve mine right here, I put some wasabi right on top there and leave the lemon on the side. Uh, the wasabi just adds such a level of umaminess. Um, yeah. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm.